I'm uh, Alan Gardner. I'm the CTO for Edge Autonomy. We're here at SoftWeek to showcase some of the the aircraft that we produce and we deliver to special operations forces. In order to make our system easily adaptable to multiple roles, that that requires us to fully embrace the modular systems approach, MOSA, which means that we take in the common interfaces like Ethernet, power interfaces, we publish that, that ICD so that anybody can integrate payloads onto our system and go field this without our assistance. That's critical. A third party company can come in and add sensors to this. The government customer that operates and uses the system can go hire somebody that has some unique capability and put that onto this airplane and they don't have to come to us to make that happen. So at Edge Autonomy, we are focused on building up the performance capabilities of our system. So long range and long endurance is now becoming a critical focus for Group 2 UAS. Previously, Group 2 UAS could be short endurance and carry small payloads and just really need to be light and mobile. But now the, the, the user community is saying, we need to do more with this class of UAV. It needs to be able to reach hundreds of kilometers, not just the local area, reach out hundreds of kilometers and stay there for hours at a time and have multi-mission capability to drop lethal munitions, perform ISR, and all these other functions. So how do you do that with a vehicle that is this size? So we have some very innovative technology, solid oxide fuel cell capability that we can bring to this space to enable something you previously thought was never possible. And this week at SoftWeek, we've introduced our Havoc configuration that takes the VXE-30 stalker system that we've been fielding for years for the special operations community, and we're doubling that endurance, doubling the range capability of this system, while also doubling the payload capacity of the system to enable them to operate at, at ranges that they previously thought were not attainable with an aircraft of this size. So, by keeping it small, keeping it compact, keeping it light and mobile, while also allowing them to reach out hundreds of kilometers to perform missions, creates a whole new way of, of operating that we're providing to the special operations.